am Dr. Mazor, and today I'm going to teach you how to give an intramuscular injection on a goat. I have my friend Hank here who's been in a bad mood today, so hopefully he sticks with us. Um, for injections that are going to go intramuscular on a goat, um, you could use a 20 gauge needle or you could use an 18 gauge needle. Um, I would really recommend using a one inch length though. Um, a lot of people typically have a one and a half inch length in their cabinets. Um, but if you're new to giving injections, I would say a one inch needle is going to be the most forgiving for you when you're learning how to do an intramuscular injection. Now on a goat, there's several locations where you can give this. Now, if you choose to do a neck injection on a goat, you're going to draw an imaginary triangle that goes under the neck vertebrae right here, in front of the scapula right here, and above the jugular vert. So here's your triangle. Anywhere in there is a safe place to give an intramuscular injection. Another place you can give an intramuscular injection on a goat is the gluteal muscle back here. So I'm going to show you how to do both. I personally prefer using a gluteal muscle, um, but if you're alone, they tend to dance around a little bit more, as you'll see. So when doing a gluteal intramuscular injection, what you're going to try to find is there's typically a little crease right here, right there, between this muscle and this muscle. So when you stick your needle in, you're going to want to not advance into that crease. So you're only going this far in, so you're going to grab that muscle belly, and then when you advance your needle, you're going to stop at your imaginary little line at that crease there. So that's your anatomy landmark for that. So let's go ahead and start with a gluteal injection. Um, the other thing about an intramuscular technique is you're always aiming to go perpendicular to that muscle. So whereas with a sub Q injection, you're pointing straight at the ground. In this case, you're going perpendicularly towards that gluteal muscle like this. a muscle and I'm going to put my needle perpendicular to the surface of that muscle about half the length of my needle advanced right like that then I'm going to pull back on my plunger aspirate and then go ahead and give the injection now you always want to cap your needle as soon as you're done giving an injection just for your own safety um, but that's it 